up on k-pop um segment ish kind of thing um so in my last video i did an rbw segment with one we one us and mamamoo uh today i'm gonna kind of do like a big hit um one but it's just gonna be txt i'll have another video for bts so today's video like i said it's gonna be txt i'm extremely behind so today i'm gonna be reacting to can't you see me puma um eternally uh, I think that's what it was called and then their new one blue hour um, I'm really excited I've heard can't you see me and Puma I I did buy the album when it came out I pre-ordered it so I have heard the songs I just haven't seen the music videos for them um, I tried keeping up with the teasers for blue hour but I just I haven't had time I'm I'm so busy and by the time I get home from work I'm so tired and I usually forget to do reactions but I'm gonna try and bust them out today. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna react to is Can't You See Me, followed by Puma, followed by Eternally, and then followed by Blue Hour. I'm gonna put the timestamps here. Um, just like my other Catching Up on K pop videos, uh, you don't have to watch all of them. No one's obligated to. I know I don't usually watch all of them when I watch other youtubers do this um it depends you know uh since it's all txt you might want to watch all of them if you just want to watch the new uh comeback then that's fine too um i'm not expecting anybody to watch the whole one so that's why i provide the timestamps for you guys all right uh let's just get started can't you see me txt if i remember correctly can't you see me was a bit of like a darker concept and they looked more like mature, so I'm really excited to see what this is gonna be like. I can't believe I waited this long to watch it. Five months, five months. That was so bad. All right, I'm watching it now, it's all that matters. Let's go. I got the closed, I got the captions on. I'm gonna try my best to read them, but you know how that happens. Okay, so we got some flashbacks from Runaway. Cool. <laughs> oh. Okay, is that blood? Because I remember that from the teasers. Young <gasps> June. Oh, 
This choreo is so dope. Hello? I can see you perfectly fine. I see you, TXT. The whole song is a bop. It's so catchy. Um, it's not like fun or like upbeat like Crown and Runaway were. It's definitely a little bit more on the um, harder side, but not like not like EDM hard. I I really don't know how to describe it. Um, it is a harder and a darker concept. It does. It sounds like a darker song. Um, the choreo. Wow. Wow, that that I I loved that that it was so cool. I love TXT's choreo. Um, they're amazing. The vocals, the visuals, this comeback. Wow, like I'm Yeonjun. Yeonjun. Period. That's it. <laughs> Subin also. Uh, he looks so good with the purple hair. Um, they all looked really good. They all looked super good. I'm kind of confused on the music video a little bit. I'm not quite sure what the concept necessarily was. Um, I know it was like incorporating things with their storylines, uh, definitely like with the fire and everything, um, and the stuff from Runaway at the beginning. Um, but like the whole food fight thing, it's like sometimes they seemed like they were having fun and then sometimes it seemed like they hated each other or that they were mad. Um, so I wasn't really sure what was going on with that. Um, but it was shot really well. They do a lot of um, like rotating the camera and stuff. Uh, they did that in Crown. Uh, they didn't necessarily do that a lot in Runaway, um, but they did it quite a bit in here. I just, I thought the production uh, was really good. Um, and it definitely fit, like, like, the music video definitely fit the vibe with the song, and then, you know, like, vice versa. Um, so I, I really enjoyed it. This was definitely something different from TXT, uh, from what we've seen before, I, and I enjoyed it. Um, it was kind of refreshing, even though it was a little bit darker. Um, alright, anyway, let's move on to Puma. Like with Can't You See Me, I heard Puma was also a bit darker. Um, it was kind of like animal related, obviously, the title's Puma. There was a lot of controversy um, surrounding this music video with how the members were dressed and um, like the vibe of the song. So um, I'm not sure how that was like resolved or what. Um, so I'm going to take a look and see what I think right now. Can Yeonju not? <laughs> it's an interesting set. Mm. Yeah, it's hard. Hello? Got the lip ring? Ah. Uh. Subin! This isn't allowed. Oh my god, not the leather. Oh, 
Puma. Um, it's not my favorite song from the album. It is catchy though. Uh, the choreo again was really phenomenal. Like their, their choreo is my favorite thing about them. Um, again, the visuals were insane. Yeonjun and that lip ring, Subin and him being rude the whole time. <laughs> um, I see where the controversy was with the outfits. Um, like, especially, like, with the chains, um, and, like, the leather, and, uh, for, for how young they are, I don't think they should have done this kind of concept just yet. They're still pretty young, so I think this, maybe, this kind of concept maybe could have been done a little bit down the road, um, until they got just a little older, um, because I know that they've expressed their discomfort before with um, being, like, sexualized and everything. And I can see where that might be an issue with this uh, music video and the styling. Um, so I do agree on that aspect. But a lot of people were saying it was, like, too, like, BDSM. I... I guess I can kind of see it with like them being chained up and like the leather and everything but the title of the song is called Puma and it's obviously about being like a puma you know so they had like the meat and they they were chained and it looked like that person was like can you know like control controlling the as if they were pumas or animals you know um I don't completely know what was going on um but I still I thought still thought it was good I, I think people were blowing it a little out of proportion but I can see where the controversy lies with this they're really solid on their facial expressions I'll have to admit like that is something that they're also very strong at um the music video production was you know pretty good uh the sets weren't like too um 
they didn't like pop too much. I did really like um, the set with all the arrows where Bumpy was laying and when they all uh, got set on fire uh, or when they all lit on fire. That was really cool. I liked that set a lot. The other ones, uh, you know, were just kind of like, not like basic, but they were just kind of empty space kind of scenes, you know. Obviously, um, you know, Puma wasn't a title track, uh, so it didn't have like, so I feel like it didn't have like that uh, need for it to be like a really like poppy, like expensive, like music video because obviously they did that with Can't You See Me, but I still thought it was really good. The production was good. The song is good. Um, the boys pulled it off really well. Um, again, I would have liked to have seen this harder concept, maybe a little farther down the road instead of right now. Um, but, uh, I still enjoyed it, so I thought it was good. Okay, sorry guys, I didn't realize that, um, Eternally was going to be a 19 minute long video, so, um, I'm going to put it in a separate video, uh, apart from the three smaller music videos, um, because, like, uh, I didn't know that it was going to be this long. So, just the three music videos are going to be in this one, and then Eternally will be in its own separate video that I'll, um, post after. Okay, so now we're going to go to Blue Hour, the recent comeback, now that I'm all caught up. I was kind of following the teasers, but then I kind of stopped just because I got busy. But all I remember is crop tops, and that's everything everybody was talking about. Um, I don't know if it's, like, a cuter concept, or if it's something dark or something that's in the middle. I'm not sure, but let's take a look. All right, so TXT Blue Hour. All right, let's go. Okay, very pretty. I like the aesthetic already. Hi. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, the white outfits. Oh, that was dope. Oh, crop top. Okay, crop tops, crop top. Okay. Hello. Okay, so this is definitely not as hard as the other one. Oh, the hair. Oh, it's so soft. Okay. Non June. Can you not? Oh, uh, the blonde hair, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, what does he look so good for? Ruben. Ooh, hello. Oh my god, not the long hair with the cowboy hat. <laughs> what? Why'd they put extension on? <laughs> this is very interesting. Oh. Oh, 
Not the dance break. Okay, the comeback was so cute and it was so fun and personally I like that side of TXT a lot more than um, the harder and like darker concept because um, they're just so like they debuted with just such like a fresh and like fun image and I, I know like um, groups don't you know usually keep that thing like throughout their you know careers and everything which you know is totally fine like dabble in something new here and there go ahead why not um I'm just saying that I personally prefer their like cute upbeat fresh fun side um not to say that like Puma and Can't You See Me or the whole Eternally thing was bad um I'm more of like a, a cute concept uh any like I'm more of a cute concept person anyway that I am um to the darker harder concepts uh concepts um but this song was so cute it was so fun um they're <laughs> the styling this comeback wow wow okay they really know how to attack you on June stands because I feel personally attacked right now. <laughs> I'm Subin and Yeonjun biased and Bomgyu to be honest I'm OT5 you know whatever but Yeonjun, what we, what do we have going on with that mullet? I, what is with the cowboy outfits? I don't know. I'm confused, but they looked good. The choreo was fun. I love the white suits, um, or not suits, outfits. Um, I just I loved it. I loved the aesthetic and like the the production. Um, it kind of like it was a bit of um like uh, it was like really artistic. Um, not just with, like, the painting aesthetic and everything, but, like, the animation, um, when they were walking through, like, that little animated forest kind of thing, and, like, the squirrels were, <laughs> um, like, messing with them or, like, whatever. I thought that was super cute, and that's something I really haven't seen, um, in music videos before, so I thought that was really cool. Um, but I, like I said, I really liked the song, like, it was so just upbeat and like so fun so I'm really excited to listen to the rest of the album I heard that there's some amazing b-sides on it so I cannot wait to listen to it all right that is the end of this video thank you uh for watching my txt big hit um segment like I said before this last video I didn't realize eternally was gonna be that long so um I'm putting that in a separate video so feel free to check that one out um don't forget to like and subscribe and turn my notice on so you know when I post. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.